What exactly are American gypsies? American gypsies are people that actually came here from other countries, and they're, they're in every culture, honestly. I mean, people think gypsy fortune tellers, this is what they think. That's not true. They're people that pretty much mostly pave and paint and fix tools, but they travel around, and that's why they're called gypsies. They don't live in one place. What is it about this culture that has led them to these <laughs> ridiculous, <laughs> amazing, sparkly, enormous, I think I saw once it actually like lit up, Oh, they love to light oh, up. They love to light up. They, well, w how did that even happen? Well, let me tell you. The thing with gypsies is that status comes with bling. And so it's a way that they show, their mater through materialism, it's a way that they show that they have more money than someone else. It's just their way. The Whoever has the most bling wins. One of your fans tweeted this question for you yesterday, and they ask, how many times, if ever, have you, if any, have you ever been cussed out by clients who were gypsies that weren't satisfied? It's very rare, and if it is, it's pretty much more because there isn't enough crystal on it. That's their biggest complaint ever and always. If there is a complaint, that's it. And you cover everything in crystal. I'm looking at just your, your glasses, first of all, are amazing. Do you hand do all of this? We hand do everything. The 16 girls working round the clock, rhinestoning all the time. We're, we rhinestone everything, including we've even rhinestoned toilet paper for the gypsies. To so, actually, ha that had to hurt. Right? I said the same thing. I almost died, but I said, if you're going to flush your money down the drain, I'll absolutely take it. No That's home. so sad. Oh, my gosh. I love all things sparkly. I'm from Jersey, so here we go. Walk <laughs> me through these amazing, is that a pacifier? Yeah, this is a pacifier. Gypsies love a crystal pacifier, and we run them in 80 colors. So How we much do a does a crystal pacifier cost? Oh, they're not that bad. They're about 80 to to $100, depending. I mean, sometimes people put an initial on them, but we work for other people, too. It's not like we live off of gypsies. Right. So... People see the show and they all call up for the same dresses and the pacifiers like and everything else. I have to have one of these when I have a baby, right? <laughs> Any I like, color. I kind of like the, the, the clear crystal. Yeah, so this is Aurora Borealis. It picks up the light. Okay, so love it. Picks it picks up different colors. And then baby shoes. One thing about gypsies is you always do the bottom. So you oh, can't. Oh, the whole bottom is done. The entire thing. And the sole. This well, you don't want to pick up the baby and not have any crystal on the this bottom. This the red Christian Louboutin <laughs> sole to shame with this here. This is just so beyond. And, of course, babies kick their shoes off, like, the minute you put them on, too. So we pretty much rhinestone it. We even rhinestone their pots and pans. They don't cook in them, of course, but they love, gypsies love rhinestone pots and pans. Cookie jars. I mean, you name it. We just did a ceiling fan last week. She sent me the blades. I opened the box thought, what are these four things doing in this box? Are there any sort of rules of thumb for the gypsy bride? If you are a young gypsy bride-to-be and you're coming to see you, what do you have to do? What do you have to know going into the into the process? Do I have to know? No, what does the, the young bride have to know? to know? Oh, she needs to know if she's not a gypsy that she's going to come into my office and she's going to be wearing a 70, 80-pound dress. <laughs> but, um, no, they, they're, um, they pretty much have their own ideas, and then I just take them and run with it. I mean, it's not... It's a pretty easy process. I, I, I try to tell them it's the same thing as buying a car or doing a house or whatever. You have to pick the paint, pick, you know. So we start them easy, pick the silhouette, and then we jump from there. We've talked so much about the dresses. We have some photos of some of the dresses that you've designed. And just kind of walk me through some of these. When you look back at them, do you think, like, that's insane? Or are you <laughs> just looking at it and saying, that's amazing? Um, no, I think they're all amazing. I think they're all different, and I and even if something, I'm a designer, so I work around everyone's taste. So if you know the customer and you know how to read the customer and you know what they like and you can make them happy, I don't find them insane at all. I I find them um, something that's great and made someone happy and it made their day and it's a memory outfit. It's something when even when I work for people that are gorgeous, if they're buying a christening gown, there's a lot of memories wrapped up into somebody's christening gown or somebody's wedding or whatever. So. Because I'm not a fan of a breast implant. Sorry, ladies. I, just I have like them. It. You do? I do. I don't believe it. They're, they're, they're great. Well, congratulations well, thank on you, you darling. <laughs>